guys, man. Songen, 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 Ivo. Spread. Tafadhalini. You're supposed to lead by example. Mambo. Amjambo. So we have a, a brief statement to make. Basically, on our preparedness when we get to a point of a total lockdown over which some of us believe strongly that is uh, the direction to take. So following the executive order number two of February 28th, 2020, from the president, various measures have been taken to contain COVID-19 pandemic in Kenya. These include quarantine, isolation, testing, treatment, and other recommendations on social distancing. However, due to the risk with this global pandemic, it seems enhanced measures may have to be taken by the national government in the coming days. And this may include a total lockdown of the country to be able to enforce enhanced social distancing. Because most of our population in Mombasa lives on a daily wage. Our people will need support for daily sustenance during this very trying period. This part of our population will be very vulnerable. It is my job as the governor of Mombasa to ensure that my people are adequately taken care of in the event of a total lockdown in the country. I therefore would like to announce the emergency household relief and nutrition support projects as part of the Mombasa Economic Stimulus Program. This is our ambitious 700 million efforts led by my office in the county government of Mombasa to provide nutrition support for 227,444 vulnerable households in Mombasa County during this period. To this effort, Mombasa is putting preliminary Kenya shillings 200 million in emergency spending to support this program. We wish to make an appeal to the national government, our bilateral and multilateral partners, state corporations that are based or hosted here in Mombasa, and those from outside here, and to our private sector to assist us in achieving this goal. We, or shall I say, this support can be in cash or in kind. To this effect, we will be issuing a directive and notice on, log on the logistics of both. We are in collaboration with the county commissioner's office, county police, county government to set up distribution centers in all the six sub-counties. We intend to deliver this package to households in their designated areas in the event of a lockdown, which in my opinion is imminent. For in-kind donations of food, we have set up a central location center at Tomboya primary school in Vita constituency, Mombasa, that is effective immediately. 
And we are also warning food traders, commodity traders, that we are watching you very, very closely in the event that you think this may be a business opportunity for you to increase the prices. Let me assure you, at our level, the county government and the national government, we shall come for you. This is a matter that can never be and shall never be entertained at this very trying moment in our country. It is important at this time we come together as a people to be able to defeat this virus. This is a brief statement that we have put together because we believe here in Mombasa, like other parts of the world and the measures that they have taken to be able to defeat this pandemic. So also we have decided that this initiative shall be led by a committee that me and the county commissioner shall be sitting in, but driven by private sector. So we have appointed Mr. Abdul Samji as the chairman of the committee, Mr. Said Salim Taib from Kitui Flower Mills as a member of the committee, Ms. Jacqueline Waihenya as a member of the committee, Mr. Mohammed Mahmoud Noor, the chairman of Red Cross Mombasa as a member of the committee, and Ms. Julian Muga, regional manager, APSA Kenya, as a member of the committee, and we shall be reviewing to see if we need broader representation. So this is what we want to say to you today, and we welcome any question. Okay. Tuko hapa leo. Kufatia amri ya rais ya ta, amri ya pili ya rais ya tarehe 28 mwezi wa pili <coughs> mwaka wa 20 mwaka wa 2020 kwamba kuna hatua hasusan za kuweza kupigana na janga la covid-19 so kumewekwa ma recommendations ama njia muafaka za kuweza kupigana na hili janga moja ambayo ilikuwa ni kujifungia ama ku quarantine self quarantine isolation kupima matibabu na social distancing lakini kwa sababu ya uzito wa janga hili na ni janga la dunia lazima tuweke mikakati mubadala ama zaidi tuweze kufanikiwa katika kupigana na janga hili kando na yale <coughs> yaloekwa na national government na haya yatakuwa kufungia kikamilifu na kuweka social distancing na kwa sababu ya watu wa Mombasa ama population kubwa ya Mombasa ni watu ambaye wanaishi katika ajira ya kila siku tumeona haja ya kwamba tuweke mipango ya kuwawezesha wao kupata riziki katika maisha yao wakati kutakuwa na kufungiwa kikamilifu or a total lockdown which i believe strongly is imminent and should happen so tumetangaza hapa kwamba serikali ya county ya Mombasa ita itisha na imeitisha Assembly, the speaker is here. There is technology. We want them to quickly engage. Ili tuweze ku support program. 
ambayo tunaita emergency household relief and nutrition support projects tumeweka takriban shilingi milioni mbili kama county na tumeweka kamati ya private sector ambaye itaendesha hii program mimi na county commissioner tutakaa hapo ndani kama members ili siku tukifunga tuwe na mipango kabambe ya kuweza kupelekea wale watu maskini ambayo tumesha map kama Mombasa kama nyumba la kimbili 2027 na 400 na 4 katika kaunti ya Mombasa we are putting logistics kwamba kuweza kuwapelekea majumbani kwao ambaye itafanywa na ushirikiano wa county commissioner mimi na other government agencies so tunauliza yale mashirika ambayo yako Mombasa wajitolee na mashirika ambayo hayako Mombasa wajitolee na washirika wa kiserikali wajitolee na kila mtu mwenye uwezo tumetangaza kwamba Tomboya Primary School hapa hapa uh, Vita Constituency shall be our collection point so yoyote ukiwa na unga mfuko mmoja mafuta mifuko 20 or whatever you can kuanzia sasa tunaanza kukusanya chakula kuweza kujitayarisha wakati ambaye kutakuwa na total lockdown na mimi naamini si muda mrefu lazima tuchukue route ya total lockdown i have seen mr adul samji driving in we would like to introduce him to you but in the meanwhile tutamuliza county commissioner aseme machache we'll take some brief questions and then tumalize hii press brief Naam asante mheshimiwa governor. Ni kweli vile amesema tuko na mipango kama hiyo ya kusaidia wakazi wa Mombasa kama mambo yatafikia mambo ya lockdown. Na sisi tutashirikiana kwa sababu hii mambo ni mambo ya multi agency. Tutashirikiana na serikali ya county na pia washikadau wengine kuhakikisha kwamba ingawaje kuna mambo ya lockdown lakini mwananchi wa kawaida atakuwa na comfort ya kuweza kuendelea na maisha yake. Jambo ningesema tu ni kwamba tunaomba watu yetu wabakie manyumbani mwao. Wasije wakatembea, tembea. Wabakie nyumbani. Hiyo ndiyo dawa tu ambayo itatusaidia kuzuia magonjwa haya kutembea tembea. Kwa hivyo ombi ni kwamba tafadhali watu wabakie nyumbani kwa wakati huu. Hiyo tu ndiyo nitakayosema. Asante. Ule The gentleman that you see in the light blue shirt ndio Abdul Samji maybe we'll give him a minute to make some remarks uh, but what we expect of him is that he will lead a committee from private sector that me and the county commissioner shall be members for one reason and only one reason for purposes of accountability and trans transparency because we don't want to be in a situation where some people could imagine they be able to take advantage at this time kuona kama kuna nafasi ya kutengeneza fedha hatukubali hayo so ndio maana tunataka private sector and we've chosen eminent personalities within the county of Mombasa to be able to lead us mr samji maybe a few remarks thank you mr governor my fellow being from Mombasa. Uh, first of all, I must say thank you to you, Mr. Governor, for taking this bold initiative that you've taken today to do much more as far as the coronavirus is concerned to protect our people of Mombasa. The private sector is with you. We shall make sure that you get the support of the private sector in Mombasa. We have always been with you in many of your projects and your ventures. And this is something which is close to everybody's heart. And I think that together, if we follow the directives that the county and the governor are giving to all the Mombasa people, we will be able to fight this crisis and be able to flatten the curve. At the moment, I think what we are seeing all over, at, in, not only in Kenya, but all over the world, is that the cases are rising. And the cases are rising because people are not taking 
heed of the advice given by the health authorities and by the governments. And I think sometimes we have to take some very specific measures like what the governor is saying to make sure that this curve is flattened and sometimes we have to discipline our own people in Mombasa for their own good. So Mr. Governor, I want to assure you that the private sector and we shall work together very closely with you to make sure that whatever we do in terms of finance, administration is transparent, very much transparent. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Samji Munamaswali. Nasema. If you truly want my take, I believe in a total lockdown. I believe by now the country should have taken a decision that everybody, literally everybody stays at home, even though I understand that we are dealing with some very vulnerable families that um, earn from hand to mouth on a daily basis, so there has to be contingency planning around how we'll provide support, but I am in a total agreement that everybody must stay home. I have asked the county commissioner, because we chair the emergency response committee, that we are now downloading an app to have a virtual meeting with the committee. We shall meet soon, we shall agree soon, and we shall announce further measures here in Mombasa that must be taken. For example, I have observed people driving, even in private vehicles, more than four, more, five, six people sitting in one vehicle. How now can you tell me you are fighting the virus and you're observing social distancing at home, and yet when you're driving, uh, you sit so many of you in one place. The national government has, and through the Minister of Health, provided guidelines. That is our job as a county, both county commissioner and myself, to see that they're implemented. We have our own enforcement agency, which is the inspectorate. They are, they are on our roads doing traffic marshalling, traffic marshals' jobs. We have also told them, if a matatu, if a, a tuk-tuk does not abide to the rules that are, are, that are stipulated today, we shall not only push them out of the road, action shall be taken against that person, their driver, and we shall be going to the owners of their vehicles, because at some point, everybody must be able to take responsibility. So I am with Kilifi, and nobody needs to explain why, because I am with Kilifi. Kilifi is reporting high numbers of cases, and we all know why. We don't want to believe on what happened. We want to see what measures can be put in place to prevent others from, from becoming uh, positive on coronavirus. So that's, that's something that I... I want to say Kilifi is on the right direction. We are headed on the di right di that direction as well. We are only awaiting that the committee meets so that it, it doesn't become um, a unilateral, unilateral decision made by the governor. Well, it, it doesn't require rocket science. We've done the mapping for the last four days. Our teams, the national administration teams, chiefs and sub-chiefs, the sub-county administrators, our political leaders, we know where the poor population resides. We know where our infor informal settlement is. We've looked at the national statistics from, from the Kenya Bureau of Statistics. We have collected the data. We, here in the Office of Ghana, for, for a while now, every time we pass the uh, bus reforms, for example, we keep data of who you are and where you come from. So we've been able, in these four days, to put together numbers that we think will be in dire need of support during the lockdown. So it was not hard. The speaker is here. We're saying, and I'm sure they have the interests of the people at heart, they need to sit immediately for an hour, pass, pass the supplementary budget, avail resources. We sit with the 
private sector, they need to lead this. They need to lead this. <coughs> you see, we don't have 700 million as the county government. We don't have it now. But we have already planned on how we can move a supplementary budget and get 200 million to start with. And now we are appealing to well-wishers, to the business community, to our partners, both here nationally and internationally, to come forward, to mobilize resources for us, to mobilize food for us, so that uh, we put measures in place in that we get to a point, and I believe we should, on a total lockdown, families should not suffer. Even Kando Yahio, we have also put aside some economic stimulus plan outside this feeding program so that immediately we overcome this challenge. We want to see our people back on track. So we would definitely need a lot of partners to be able to come on board. If you ask me, the country should have been on total lockdown yesterday, if you ask me. But obviously, it's a process that requires serious consultations. But if you ask me, I would tell you yesterday, because we don't really need to reinvent the wheel. I keep saying this. We are not, Kenya is not an island that is dealing with this issue in isolation. The only thing, in my opinion, that needs to be done is to be able to see private practices elsewhere. What has happened in other cities of the world? For example, you know very well that Italy has one of the best, best health systems. Italy has one of the best health systems. New York is crying today. They need 20,000 ventilators. As we speak, they have... Italy has 3,000 ventilators. Now, do we want to be in a situation where we have to make a choice of who dies and who lives? You know? So for me, if you asked me, I would have said yesterday, but the, the government is broad. It requires also, and I'm sure, at the national level, they are, they are cognizant of the fact that they may, they may need to put contingency planning for be able to ensure people don't starve when they're, when they're at home. So that's where we are. So kinuliza mimi na kuambia jana tufunge. Jana. Lakini naelewa kwamba kuna mipango mpaka yawekwe ambayo sasa watu wanayezungumzia na ni lazima tuyazungumzie. Asante ni sana. Where is my sanitizer my friend? Ah staki ya mtu na yangu mimi. I'm going to give to someone with a glove. Well, I'm not sure